So recently I got several requests on my YouTube channel for this video and finally it is here. Hi guys welcome back to Code War. I am Ramesh and in this video I will explain about how to set up graphics.h in VS Code. By the way I have already created videos on how to set up graphics.h in Codeblocks and DevC++ but many of you have requested me for this video so here it is. Okay so basically there are many ways to set up graphics.h in VS Code but I will show you the three best ways that you must know about. The first two are especially for beginners and those who just want to run graphics program and the third one is for especially for those who wants to create a project using graphics storage library. And not just that, I will also explain about some common error that you can face when you will set up graphics storage in VS Code and how to solve it. So make sure you watch the full video and by the way I am assuming that you have already installed Visual Studio Code in your computer. If you have not installed VS Code yet then go to the official website and download it and install. I have mentioned the link in the description of this video and uh, now without wasting time let's get into it. Alright guys so the graphics library that we are going to use is made for 32-bit compiler. So first of all we will have to install the 32-bit GCC compiler and uh, I have mentioned the link in the description of this video so go to this website and make sure you download the 32-bit version and not the 64-bit. By the way I have been asked many times uh, by beginners in my codeblocks video about whether it is safe to use 32-bit version of compiler on 64-bit computer system or not. So I want to mention here that uh, it is fine. Almost all the 64-bit computers nowadays also support 32-bit software so you don't need to worry about it. Now after downloading this 32-bit compiler we have to install it. So go to downloads and open it. Now make sure this check for updated files is unchecked then click on create. Click on next. Install. So the installation has been finished successfully now click on next and finish. So as we have installed 32-bit compiler, now we have to set up graphics storage in it. So download the graphics library from my Google Drive. I have mentioned the link in the description of this video. And after downloading, you will get a zip file like this. Now extract this zip file. After extracting, you will get four files in it. And uh, now hold the control button and click on graphics storage and winbgm.h to select these two files. Copy it and now we have to paste it in the include folder of our compiler. So go to this location, C drive, tdmgcc32, include. Now paste here. Now go back to the folder where you extract the zip file and select this file with name libvgi.a. You have to copy this file to the lib folder of the compiler. So copy it and go to the lib folder. See this location. C drive tdmgcc32 lib. Now paste here. Alright guys, so we have set all the required stops. Now open Visual Studio Code. Okay, now we need to install some extensions to run our C++ code. So go to the extensions section and uh, search for C++. Install this extension.
Now search for code runner. Install this extension as well. And uh, by the way, I want to say thanks to Prana Patil and A. Abzal as they have suggested me to use these extensions. So thanks guys. Now let's get back into it. Click on file, open folder. You can also use this shortcut, control K. Now select a folder where you want to save your graphics program. I'm creating a new folder for this. Click on select folder. Click on yes, I trust the authors. Now create a new C++ file and give it any name you want. By the way, I want to mention here that you must create a C++ file and not a C file because the graphics library that we are using, actually it internally uses some C++ specific header files and those header files are not available in C language. So if you create a C file, you will face error. But if you want to write your code in C language, even then you have to write your code in C++ file and uh, it will work fine as C language is part of C++, right? So make sure that you are creating a C++ file. Now before writing the graphics code, we have to edit the default configuration of C++ extension for this folder. So go to view, command palette. You can also use this shortcut, control shift P. Select this option, C, C++ edit configuration UI. Now here in the compiler path, make sure you have selected this option. C drive slash TDM GCC 32 slash bin slash g++ dot exe. Now in the compiler arguments, we have to write all the linker flags related to graphics storage library. So write hyphen lbgi hyphen lgdi32 hyphen lcom dlg32 hyphen luuid hyphen lol eaut32 hyphen lol e32 so guys, these are the linker flags related to graphics.h library. Make sure you have written all these uh, flags in a separate line, just like I have done here. Otherwise, it will not work. Now in the intelligence mode, select this option. Windows GCC x86. Now come to the bottom. Here in the C++ standard, I am selecting C++11. By the way, this one is not mandatory, but um, I mostly code in C++11 standard. So that's why I have selected C++11. If you want to follow along with me, you can also do it. Now save this file. By the way, whatever settings we have done here is important and uh, you will have to do all these settings whenever you create a new folder for your graphics program. And once you have done these uh, settings for this uh, root folder or directory, then you can write uh, any number of graphics program in this folder or any other folder which is inside this particular folder. I hope you got what I mean, right? Now let's get back to our C++ file and write the graphics program. Okay, see. Here I have included graphics.h header file and uh, it is not showing any error. That means our compiler is able to find the graphics.h header file. Now let me write the whole program and then I will show you how to run it.
So our program is complete. Now let me quickly go through it before we compile our program. By the way, I am not going into much details of this program, but if you want to know, then you can watch the third video of my graphics tutorial series. Okay, so this part is basically for creating the graphics window. Then this will draw a circle on the graphics window. And after that, this getch will hold the program execution until you press any key. And then this close graph is for closing the graphics window. Now for compiling this program, go to terminal, run build task. Uh, you can also use this shortcut, control shift B. Now here you have to select this option, C, C++, G++, .exe, build active file. See the build has uh, successfully finished. Now press any key to close it. You can see here an executable file has been created, but uh, we can't run it directly. So we need a terminal for running our program. So go to terminal, new terminal. Now for running this program, you have to uh, write a dot followed by forward slash and then name of the executable file. Okay, so this dot exe part is optional. You can avoid writing this extension name. It will work fine. Now hit enter. See, it is working properly. And uh, this is the first method of running graphics.h program in Visual Studio Code. By the way, I suggest you to also see the second method. It is a shortcut method. But before going to the second method, I want to talk about some common errors which you can face at this time. Let's start with the most common error that you can face. Okay, so in this error, basically you will see that your program has compiled successfully. But when you will run your program, this graphics window will not open and the program will crash. Unfortunately, you will not be able to see any return value of your program in this terminal output when it exits because this method will not give you that much facility. But uh, if you follow the second method, then you will see that after crashing, your program will return some value like this or this one. And uh, this is what I am talking about. So if you face something like this, then uh, what you have to do is First of all, make sure that uh, you have written exactly the same program that I have uh, written over here because you can face this same problem due to many reasons. For example, if you try to access data from any Denzeling pointer or null pointer, then you will get an exact return code that I have shown you. Or if you divide any number by a zero, then again you will get another one of uh, those return values after your program crash. So make sure you have written exactly the same code as mine and then follow the second method. And after that, if you get the return code same as any of these, then it is confirmed that you are also facing the same problem, which I am talking about. And the only reason for facing this problem is the graphics library that you are using is either corrupt or it is not copied correctly. So I suggest you to re-download the graphics library from the link given in the description of this video and try again. One more common error that people do is in the linker settings. Let me show you. See this one. I have seen many people that uh, they do mistake here in writing these flags and uh, due to which they face error. So make sure you write all these uh, flags uh, correctly. So these are two most common issues that uh, people face while setting graphics.h library. Now if you get any other error then uh, either explain your problem in the comment section or you can also mail me. So to do this first take the screenshot of your program and then go to terminal run build task select this uh, g++.exe build active file. And after the build process finish, take a screenshot of this. And also you have to 
take the screenshot of the return code that you will uh, get after following the second method of setting graphic storage in visual studio code and you have to mail me all these screenshots along with explaining your issue i'll mention my gmail id in the description of this video so that you can easily reach to me now moving to the second method okay so in the first method what we were doing was we were uh, compiling our program and then uh, for running we were going to terminal but if we have to compile and run our program more frequently then running it by terminal is obviously not a good choice so we need a shortcut which can uh, automate this process and uh, this is what we are going to do in this second method now if you are following this video from the starting then uh, you would have installed code runner but uh, if you have not installed it yet then quickly go to the extensions section and uh, install this code runner and after installing it you will see this uh, run code button here but in case if you don't see it then uh, restart your visual studio code now see if i switch to my graphics program and hit the run code button see what happened we are getting errors related to undefined reference this is because our program is not uh, being compiled with graphics storage related linker flags so to solve this go to the extensions code runner and click on this manage button and uh, select this extension settings option here you have to look for this setting code runner executor map now click on this edit in settings.json okay see in the previous version of code runner the executor map option was automatically being added in this uh, settings.json file when i was clicking on edit in settings.json option but in this current version it is not coming so if you are also not getting the code runner executor map option then you will have to manually add it so give a comma here and uh, in the next line write code hyphen runner dot executor map click on this first option now here you can see we have this cpp name for c++ file and its respective command over here this command is executed when uh, you will click on this run code button so we have to add the graphics related linker flags in this command over here so before this double ampersand symbol or and sign whatever you call it you have to write hyphen lbgi space hyphen lgdi32 space hyphen lcom dlg32 space hyphen l u u i d space hyphen l o l e a u t 32 space hyphen l o l e 32 so this is what i have written in this file right now make sure you have written everything correctly and by the way there is a blank space between all these flags so give a blank space between all these flags otherwise you will get error now save this file okay now if you select your graphics program and uh, hit this run code button see it's working now let's throw one more step to make sure it is working correctly i am going to draw a rectangle save your file before running it and uh, now hit the run code button see it is working fine so this is the second method uh, of running graphics program in visual studio code now as i said after the uh, first method this is the return code that you have to look at 
here I have got uh, the return code equal to zero, which means my program has executed successfully. But if you get the return code that I was talking about and uh, your code is same as what I have written over here, then uh, you are also getting the same problem that I was talking about. The graphics library that you are using is either corrupt or it is not copied correctly. So redownload it from the link given in the description of this video and uh, try again. Now moving to the third method and this is especially for those who wants to create a project using graphics.h library. Okay, so this time you will have to do a little bit of extra to make sure things work correctly. So first of all, go to the extension section and search for C++ project. Now you have to install this extension C C++ project generator. So install it. And now we are ready to create a project. Now go to view and select the command palette option. You can also use this shortcut control shift P. Now search for create project. And uh, here you can see we have uh, two options create C++ project and create C project. So here you have to select C++ project, don't go for C project because the graphics library that we are using will not work in C file. So select C++ project. And now you will have to select a folder where you want to create your project. So I'm going to create a new folder for this project. Now select this folder. Yes, I trust the authors. So our C++ project template has been created and now we have to set up graphics library in it. So first we have to do all the settings that we did in the first method. So let's quickly do this. Go to view and select command palette. Now click on C++ edit configuration UI. Change compiler part to C drive TDM GCC 32 slash bin slash G plus plus dot exe. Okay, now here you don't need to write any linker flags in compiler argument. We will do this in the make file of our project. Now change the intelligence mode to Windows GCC x86 and change the C plus plus standard to C plus plus 11. Now save it. So it is done. Now we have to edit our make file. So open this make file. You can see all the configuration related to our project is written over here. So first change the C++ standard to C++ 11. Now in the L flags, you have to write all the graphics.h related linker flags. So write hyphen LBGI space hyphen lgdi32 space hyphen lcomdlg32 space hyphen luuid space hyphen lol t 32 space hyphen lol e32 and now save this file So almost all the settings are done and uh, now we can write our code but before this I want to explain about uh, the purpose of all these folders. So starting from the include folder this is the place where you will store all your header files. This lib folder will be used for storing all the external library files. Next one is this output folder. So when you will compile your project your executable file will be saved in this output folder and the last one is src folder. So this is where you will save all your C++ files. Okay, now as we can't have just a single source file in our project. So just for demonstration, I am going to create some more files in it. So let's create a header file. Select include folder and create a new file. Give it any name. Let's say foo.h. 
By the way, in a project with multiple files, the same header file can be included in multiple source files and this can cause error because when you will compile your project and the same header file will be included multiple times then the compiler will see the same function prototype or class declaration multiple times which is not allowed and this is a big problem so to avoid this we will write header card code okay see in this first line hash if not defined foo underscore h Basically, it means if foo underscore h is not defined. So, if foo underscore h is not defined, then in the second line, we are defining foo underscore h. And then here, this uh, hash end if is the end of this hash if preprocessor. So, basically, it is like an if a statement which is saying that if foo underscore h is not defined, then do whatever is written in this portion of code. So when the compiler will encounter this header file for the first time, then over here, it will check whether foo underscore h is defined or not. And uh, as it will not be defined at uh, this line yet, so the compiler will go through whatever is written inside this portion. And as we are defining foo underscore h in the second line, so when the compiler will encounter this same header file again, then at this first line, it will check whether foo underscore h is defined or not and as we have already defined it in the first time so the compiler will ignore whatever is written inside this from the second time onward and in this way this code will ensure that uh, the compiler don't encounter anything written in this header file twice and we will not face any error related to multiple declaration of function prototype or uh, class declaration or any other kind of identifiers now here i am going to write a function prototype We will not write its body over here, instead we will create a new separate source file. So inside this src folder, you can create a new C++ file for this. But uh, I prefer to keep my main.cpp file separate from all other source files. So I am going to create a new folder inside this src folder. I will name it module. Now I will create a new source file inside this module folder and uh, I will write the body of this function in that file. So let's do this. First of all we will have to include our header file. Now let's write our function body. So basically what I want to do is I will write some graphics code in this function and uh, I will call this function in our main function body which is over here in main.cpp file. So to do this we need graphics library so hash include graphics.h now let's write some graphics code
so this part is complete we are not doing much over here this will draw a rectangle this is some text which i want to print on the graphics window this will change the text style and uh, this will print the text at the center of the graphics window now let's move to our main file okay so now we need a graphics window only then we will be able to draw something so let me write some basic code over here Okay, see, when I included foo.h in this file, it is showing include error. This is because our C++ intelligence is not able to find this header file. So we will have to explicitly add this include folder to the include path of our C++ extension properties. So to do this, just hover your mouse on this line and uh, you will see this uh, pop up. Click on this quick fix. By the way, if you don't see this pop up, then uh, you can use the shortcut control plus period or dot key, whatever you call it. And uh, now you can see this first option add to include path. Click on it and uh, it's done. Now see, it is not showing any error. So this part is also complete. Now let me quickly go through it. This part is for creating the graphics window. This will print some text in the terminal just to show you that uh, our main function is executed. Then I have called this function which is written in this file over here. After that this getch will hold the program execution until you press any key. And then this close graph is for closing the graphics window. Okay see we have included foo.h in main.cpp file and also it is included in foo.cpp file so when we will compile our program this same header file will be encountered two times and uh, that is why we have written this header guard code hope it is more clear to you now okay one more thing uh, here we have created a module folder and we have a source file in it but uh, our make file don't know about this module folder so we will have to add this folder location in our make file so open make file and now over here just after src we have to write the location of our module folder relative to the root folder of our project so give a blank space and uh, write src then a forward slash module now save this file and uh, we are done So finally we can compile our project so go to terminal run build task you can also use this shortcut Control shift b so it is compiled and now you can see that uh, the executable file is in our output folder now we need a terminal to run it 
okay so currently we are in the root directory of our project we will have to move to the output directory to run this uh, executable file so write cd output and hit enter now we are in the output directory so to run this main.exe file write dot then a forward slash main and now hit enter so it is working now see we have got this terminal output that we have written here in our main function and in our graphics window this thing is drawn by the fun function which we have written in this file over here now you may ask if there is any shortcut method for both compiling and running our project because uh, this method takes a little bit of extra effort and also this run code button can only run a single file and not a complete project so i will tell you about this uh, a bit later but before that we have to set up something which is more important in project development and that is the debugger tools so for those who don't know about debugger it is basically a software for testing and uh, figuring out problems in your project now for setting your debugger tool open this launch.json file which is inside this .vs folder here look for this windows attribute now here we have to give the path of our debugger so open your explorer and go to c drive tdm gcc32 bin now copy this location now return back to launch.json file and paste it over here see we are getting some error because of this backward slash you have to change this to forward slash so let's do this quickly now go back to explorer see our debugger name is gdb32.exe so in our launch.json file just after this bin give a forward slash and write gdb32.exe now save this file Okay, now go to run and click on this start debugging. Wait for some time. So our debugger is running fine now. Now we can use debugger as a shortcut method for compiling and running our project. See, for running debugger, F5 is assigned as a shortcut. So when we will press F5 key, our project will be compiled and run. So let's do some changes in our code and see if it works fine or not. Okay, saving the file and uh, now if I press F5, see it is compiling. It is launched and we have got the updated output. So this is it guys, I hope you found this video informative. Make sure you smash the subscribe button to watch more informative videos like this and also hit the bell icon to get notification of latest videos updates. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, peace.